This video will cover disassembly of the Steyr Monlucker M95 bolt. Disassembly of the bolt does not require any tools other than a small screwdriver to remove the safety. A small cloth may be useful for removing and inserting the bolt head. To see how to remove the bolt and fully disassemble the rest of the rifle, refer to the previous video on disassembly of the M95. With the bolt removed, decock the bolt by rotating the bolt head into the bolt body. This is most easily done by tapping the bolt head on a hard surface that will not damage the bolt. Pull the cocking piece to the rear and push the safety to the on position. This will keep the cocking piece drawn to the rear. Rotate the cocking piece counterclockwise, unscrewing it from the firing pin. The bolt head and extractor can then be removed from the bolt body. This may take some force and the bolt head will rotate clockwise as it comes out. The cloth may be useful in doing this. To remove the firing pin from the bolt head, unscrew the firing pin retaining nut from the firing pin by rotating it counterclockwise. This is under pressure from the firing pin spring, so ensure control of the firing pin retaining nut is maintained. With it removed, the firing pin and spring can be removed from the bolt head. To remove the safety, unscrew the safety screw with a small screwdriver. The bolt is now fully disassembled for maintenance or repair. Assembly of the bolt is the reverse of disassembly. Attach the safety to the bolt body with the safety screw. Slide the firing pin into the back of the bolt head, then the firing pin spring over the firing pin. Compress the firing pin spring into the bolt head with the firing pin retaining nut over the firing pin and screw it into the bolt head by rotating it clockwise. Ensure the cam track and the bolt head and retaining nut are aligned. Orientate the flat side of the firing pin in the same direction as the ejector groove on the bolt head by rotating the firing pin. Ensuring the safety is in the on position, insert the bolt head into the bolt body. With the ejector groove facing the bolt handle until it starts to rotate. Slide the extractor into the extractor groove on the bolt body until it snaps onto the bolt head. Push the bolt head into the body, allowing it to rotate as it is inserted. Move the safety to the off position. 
Slide the caulking piece over the firing pin until it is fully seated on the bolt body. Rotate the caulking piece clockwise, screwing it onto the firing pin. After several rotations, draw the caulking piece to the rear. It will now be under spring tension. Push the safety to the on position, holding it there. Continue rotating the caulking piece clockwise until it is fully screwed onto the firing pin. Rotate the caulking piece counterclockwise until it snaps into position with the sear oriented to the bottom of the bolt body. Move the safety to the firing position, allowing the caulking piece to seat onto the bolt body. The bolt is now assembled. To insert the bolt back into the rifle, it must be cocked. This is done by pulling the bolt head out of the bolt body until the locking lug is under the extractor. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or useful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more, just leave a comment and let us know below.